Hello Hornby fans, we're here at Wally 2022 and we're going to be taking a look at some layouts all around the exhibition. We're also going to be talking to Wally Model Railway Club about their very special layout and of course talking to the Hornby team about what we've got on our stand. So we've waited three years for it, let's do it. Okay, well I'm joined by Montana, our head of brand at Hornby. How's it going? It's really good, really busy. Um, we obviously haven't been to this show for three years now, yeah. so it's nice to finally be back, um, talk to customers, show some of our latest samples. We've got TT layout here, TT products. So um, yeah, it's been really good, really exciting first day. Wally 2022 toot toot, eh? I know. Are you, are you having fun? Oh yeah, it's been great. It's yeah. the first time I've been here, so um, having a chance to look around see some layouts obviously talk to people here on the stand which is really good so have you had a good response for TT? Uh, yeah response for TT has been um, astounding really and um, this is the second show that we've been to where we've taken TT um, and now we've got a lot more samples development samples available for people to look at it makes a big difference um, even people were just picking up the models and, and feeling the weight of them and looking like really closely at the detail um, just kind of goes to show the effort and time and design that's gone into every model so yeah no it's going well and you've got some dev samples and some product future products and on display as well yes yeah, so we've got our two new sets on display we've got um locomotives in steam and diesel new coaches um new rolling stock um so we've got various samples of various different um development stages and on the double o side you uh, released a about a new locomotive, a club exclusive. Yes, yep, so brand new um, Coronation locomotive in a lovely BR standard blue. Um, it's gone down really, really well so far. Um, we've got a mock-up sample available for visitors to look at. Um, it's available to pre-order on the Hornby website. And it's limited edition? Yeah, limited edition to 500 units. But it, to be honest, by the time we edit this, it could be sold out. I think we're definitely going that way. We only launched it at 9.45 this morning and um, sales have been, um, yeah, quite high. That's all right, we'll show it off anyway, why not? Yeah, it's, it's a good model. And uh, this is the first day, so you've got another day left. Excited about the second day? Because you've been here a few times, you know what it's like, is it slower? Is it? Yeah, so Sundays are generally always a little bit quieter, um, but today, obviously, a lot of people have been affected by the rail strike, oh, which yeah. means that tomorrow might end up being just as busy as today, which we like. So, yeah, it's um, it's been good so far and hopefully just as busy tomorrow. So, you want to introduce yourself to the to people at home? Hi, um, my name's Louis and I'm a new product designer at Hornby. And you were here at Wally 2022 and this is the first event you've been to uh, yeah. at Hornby, right? Yes, yeah, that's right. And how's it been, first day? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I've enjoyed speaking to the customers, um, getting to know their thoughts about our brands, um, and they've given quite a lot of suggestions of what we could do in the future. Um, and we've had a really positive response to the new TT range, which is always good to hear. For you, obviously, you can't really talk to anyone about what you're working on because yeah. yours is future plans. How's that? Um, it's hard to keep secrets. Um, there's quite a few projects I'm working on at the minute that haven't actually been announced. But I'm excited to see them um, out in the world so I can get views from people on, on what they think of my, of my models.
We've been away here at Signalbox for a little while, so let's take a look back at some key moments from the past two months. We announced TT120 back in October, showcasing a full range of products coming in the next 12 months and beyond. You've been giving us your opinions on this new or semi-new scale, but if you'd like to learn more about TT, make sure you subscribe here and watch TT Talk for all the latest news. The Lion roared its way onto your layout, adding to our Era 1 lineup. Many of you have been sharing your Lion running at home on our social media channels, a beautiful and impressive model. Slightly off track, but we recently shared a video about the impressive big boy from Riverossi. This behemoth is the opposite to the Lion in stature. Although a smaller scale, this locomotive is so big that it can run on double O track. A personal favourite of mine, this locomotive is something to behold. Now Nathan, tell us a little bit about that Christmas Grotto. Visit our Hornby Christmas Grotto on the official Hornby website. Get ready for holiday cheer with Christmas themed photo booth and a seasonal kids zone. Also keep your eyes peeled for festive Christmas videos including Christmas gift inspiration. Lots more to come soon. The countdown is on. Our annual advent calendar is coming soon and it's full to the brim with prizes. You won't want to miss this so stay tuned for more. Plus, we're helping Santa spread some special Christmas joy this year by granting a selection of children's Hornby wishes. Visit our Christmas Grotto for all information and to download the free template. Entry closes on the 28th of November, full T's and C's are on our website. We can't wait to receive all your magical wish lists. Back to Worley we go as I chat to members of the Worley Model Railway Club about their Margate Warren layout. So we're on the first day, so it's been really busy so far, right? First day for you, but I've been here since Thursday. Oh, there we go. It's been here since Thursday. <laughs> and how's it been? How's the setup? Been right? It's been good. It's stressful. It's been uh, getting back into the habit. It's been like three years since we run a show, so it's 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 hard work, but it's 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 worth it when doors open, people come through the door. What more can you ask for? And uh, obviously behind us we have this very impressive layout. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here? Yeah, well, it started off with building the station. Uh, so I spoke to Montana in 2019, got a few buildings, uh, scratch built them, said put the stickers on, did plastic hard, added all the detail, uh, sent some pictures and said we'll make it into a small diorama. 
perfect, so we did that, and then it stuck, sat in my kitchen for two years, catching dust. Spoke to Simon Montana, do you want it back? Do we want to? No, not really. What if you're doing it, turn it into a layout for the visitor centre with the one to one collection? And it's just grown by now. And it's all based around bits of my childhood. So from my first Hornby train set from 1980 something, uh, right through to going on holiday in the summer, standing on the seawall at Dawlish. Obviously, yeah, holidays in caravans and watching trains go by. It's, it's just, yeah. So for you, what was kind of the, your favourite part of doing this project? Uh, getting it to work. <laughs> <laughs> I hate electrics. Uh, I think for me, the seawall, I enjoyed the seawall and you know the airfix kits. I, 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 don't, I like doing plastic models and painting, weathering, that sort of stuff. But it's just, the whole hub is about doing everything and getting, trying to muck in and doing, even I've done soldering, which I don't do soldering, soldering wire together. Uh, trying to make things out of brass rod, which again I've never done before. Yeah. Loads of burnt fingers, but yeah, it's just just fun. It's quite fun in it. And uh, will you, we, how how would it feel for you to know that this is going obviously to the Hornby Visitor Centre afterwards? Uh, it's like my baby now. So I mean, to be, I said to Montana yesterday, I, says, I don't want to give it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just glad. Yeah, I must have to Montana a few weeks ago. I said, you know, I got my I got a picture of my, my first train set when I was sort of three, Hornby train set, and then to actually build a layout now to go to Hornby, it's it's sort of gone full circle. Uh, so it's quite a nice nice feeling to you know to give something back to the hobby for something that's given something so much to me. Yeah. So um, how are you? Did you get involved in the layout and this uh, this project? Well, what happens? I uh, I joined the Warley Club after their open day in the February, and uh, when I first arrived at the club, I just didn't know what to do. And Andy called me over and says, "Why don't you join the team?" And we says, "Yeah, that'd be great," you know. And I just moved on from there. And I wanted to learn how to do modelling because I do modelling myself at home. And there's just all the static grass side of it, the electrical side of it. I've never had experience in it before, so it sort of helped me with that and then it's just been every single Tuesday all the way up till now so it's been so, quite good. Is that, so it's been, you've been enjoying learning different yeah, aspects? Yeah it's been brilliant and yeah. the team at the Wally Model Railway Club are absolutely excellent. Everybody there helps you out and there's always someone that's got that right knowledge oh, how to do something and even the little shortcuts that you always struggle with as yeah, well yeah. so it's been brilliant. So did you have a specific area on the layout that you were assigned to or was right. it? I'm sort of more the fine detail. Oh, nice. So I've been doing bits of the deck chairs with my daughter as well. These little pots and that, all the trunking, the fencing, oh, making the trees. You've got your figures on there. There's Simon there. Yeah, yeah, Simon. I, don't, I, I didn't do one of you. Did no, you no, get away from that? You <laughs> took under. I didn't get. Yeah, I didn't get one. Mate. <laughs> so I've sort of been doing all the more finer detail. Yeah. Don't know why I ended up with that. I just think uh, that it was a bit more challenging, so they just chucked it onto me. You were so. a bit of a perfect perfectionist, maybe. Yeah, is that? I've got a bit of OCD, so oh, I think man, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So, did you come into the project from day one, or? Uh, yes, yes, basically, yes, yeah, yeah. So um, it was just sort of more or less gluing and nailing the boards and, and one thing or another. Um, although obviously we've got the, the bridge and the station already yeah. sort of built. So it was adding on to that and then the yeah, track laying and sort of a general introduction into all modelling things really. So was there any part of it that was particularly difficult for you? Uh, time. Really? Time management, because um, obviously it's a slow process isn't it? You can only do sort of step by step can't you really? So uh, yeah, it's very very time consuming to get it to this sort of level. And so. what was what's your favourite part of the layout for you? Um, the church, daft enough, yeah. just that simple, a simple idea uh, to fill a corner in. But yeah, yeah, it yeah. was sort of a um, a fairly easy process to do. But it's sort of, I think it's sort of part of the part of one of the the good spots on the model. But and how does it feel now? Obviously, we're here at the show this right. morning. Right, there's been a lot of interest, or a lot of people standing around, which has yeah. been good. Um, so it was uh, hard going yesterday, putting it together and. Uh, and, and getting the, 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 the stock running, but it's been nice to see people sort of taking a real keen interest. And Did you have any sort of moments where you thought, oh, is this going to...? 
Well, we were there all last week at the club trying to get right. it ready, and it was like, come Thursday, well, this has got to go on the van, yeah. and <laughs> is it going to make it? But yeah, we were, you know, got there in the end, got there in the end. So yeah, really pleased throughout. Yeah. And what was it that got you into model railways? And, and, and uh, well, years ago, I used to have when I was a kid, yeah, and then sort of circumstances change and uh, it's only been since I retired that I thought, you know, I'll go back to what I really wanted to do, which was do a layout. Um, attended an open day at Warley and uh, got in, sort of involved in that way, really. Um, so just joined up and sort of, you know, every week trying to sort of do something for somebody at the club. And what, and what do you think being a part of that club does for you? And is it is beneficial for you? As it's beneficial to the mind. You get you sort of meet. Once you retire, you lose, lose perhaps contact with workforce and people. So a club like Warley, where you, they're all sort of friendly and you know, do you want some help or you know, uh, can we advise you? So it was just a meeting like-minded people, if you like, um, being able to have a chat, have a cup of coffee, and then you know, get involved in various layouts. So. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for, for allowing us to talk to you and hopefully the rest of the show goes well for you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, that's it for this month's Signal Box. Thank you to all of the Wally team for making us feel so welcome and a personal thank you to all those who came up and chatted to me during the show. I really appreciated it. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Mike, you've been great and I'll see you at the next stop.